What's up guys, we're back at it with another Matt Chat with Coach Corey. Now today's topic, we're talking about why you train. Because, you know, you say, uh, oh, self-defense or to get in shape. But in reality, um, most of the people I know that train martial arts, especially if they've been training for a while, at the end of the day, those really are just like consolation prizes. Like, cool, they keep me in shape. And cool, I can protect myself. But I don't think you and I, if we went our whole lives never having to use this stuff in a self-defense situation, are going to be like, oh, we wasted all that time yeah. training. And honestly, I think maybe we would train even if it made you fat. Yeah. So probably, yeah, I would say that's probably accurate. I'd probably still be doing this 300 pounds. <laughs> and the cool thing is a lot of people I talk to, a lot of the, the people when I talk to them on the phone, fitness and self-defense, and we start really digging into why they want to train, that that those are just kind of surface answers. There are deeper reasons. And so I'd love to hear your yeah. thoughts about why why people train, why you train, um, what kinds of things you're trying to inspire out of your students to uh, as far as uh, to motivate them. Uh, tell me your thoughts yeah. about this topic. Yeah, so I mean, guys, I, of course, uh, I come from Chicago, so self-defense is really important to me. And of course, the fitness aspect, we all want to live uh, nice, healthy, long lives so we can enjoy them. But there, there's so many more because uh, like you said, it's very surface level, right? Like very surface level. There's so many reasons more why you should train martial arts. I know for me, like, for lack of a better phrase, I was a weird kid, right? I was a weird kid. I really didn't, I, I never felt like in place in any sort of group, right? I didn't fit in with the cool kids or the jocks or the goths or the nerds. I was kind of all over the place, but I, I was obsessed with martial arts. It, just from growing up and watching, you know, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Chuck Norris, like these are the people that were like my heroes and I wanted to, I wanted to emulate them due to their strength on screen. So those are the people I want to associate with. Um, you know, that going into my first thing, the community you meet in martial arts gyms is fantastic. Okay. Um, you know, not every gym can be not as nice as ours. You know, there's some that are a little bit more rough, but I feel like with, especially with our gym, you meet such a good core group of people. Um, we're all trying to get something out of this, um, you know, and one of the big things we get out of this is the community. Um, we not only talk about the techniques we like or the fights we watched or uh, what submission we want to try to hit and rolling that night, but we're like all just kind of friends and like, you know, that community, like finding people that you can actually connect with is a huge benefit factor. It's so hard to, I know for me, like, I, I have a hard time making friends. I don't just go up to people and I'm like, hey, like, how are you doing? But like in the gym, I, I can do that. And that feels natural because we're in a space where we're all learning and having fun together. So community is a big thing for me. Um, that's one of the reasons I, I love training is the community. A, a place where you can feel like you fit, right? And you're not a, not a burden and, and, and not um, a, a sore thumb. You fit in right along with everyone else. So community. Um, the next big thing is, I mean, I, I've done this for years. I love competition. Um, I feel like a lot of martial artists eventually get this kind of drive to, to test themselves. And again, not an ego thing, not a tough guy thing. We're not trying to see how tough we are, but rather we want to test our mental attrition. We want to test our technique. We want to test our ability under pressure and competition comes into play. Um, competition is a great goal setter. You know, if you, if you are going to compete in kickboxing tournaments or jujitsu tournaments, um, having that on the calendar, knowing that you have to get ready and you have to go do this and go, you know, compete and fight with another human being. Um, it, it, it's for me, it's, it's very invigorating. It's, it's almost like, I don't know. It's like being on top of the world when, when you get your hand raised on the mat or in the ring. Um, and, and people love feeling that, you know, not, not everyone was a team sport kid. I wasn't, I didn't like playing baseball. I didn't like playing football. I didn't want to do things where I was like on a team. Yeah, if I failed, I wanted to fail myself. If I won, I wanted to win myself with no other, nobody else claiming that fame. It was me. So competition is another great one. Like if you want to feel a little bit of glory in your life, especially maybe early in your life, maybe you weren't a, weren't an athlete and you never got to kind of feel that um, that like grand feeling of, of a trophy or a medal or a belt. And now as an adult, you can do that. And, and it, that's kind of a great thing, you know, is being able to be like, hey, look, I won this. I so, love that. So yeah. competition is a big one. Um, I'll say the third one that's probably most important to me is just um, being not in work mode, not being in lazy mode, but being in something completely else. Um, if that sounds a little weird, 
follow me here. So I feel like so many, so many of us, we once we get out of work, we still talk about work. Or if like you're dealing with something at home or bills or some sort of situation that's annoying you with the car or whatever it may be, you're in that mindset. But when you come to train, I know for me, that melts away. You know, I, I even had my car in the shop last week. Uh, you know, funny enough, I was driving my wife's car here and I was so frustrated I couldn't drive my car. I, oh, I knew that expensive bill was coming. The second my class started, I didn't care. I, you just, you know, when you're when you're in it and you're you're fully um, a part of, of, the, of the class and of the group, those things that bug you outside don't seem to bug you that much more when you're punching something or you're choking something or you're just learning something. Uh, you can kind of get away from the negative and just enjoy being in the present. So that's another huge reason that I love training. I say like when most people call me, if they've never trained martial arts, usually the reasons they give are you know fitness and, and uh, self-defense. But the people that have done any training for about a year or more, it always comes back to it, it was the only time where I just, the anxiety goes away, they feel, and we kind of joke that yeah. this is our therapy, fighting each other yes. is our therapy. Um, there, there is something, it's all, it feels like the secret of martial arts because you can only find out just how, um, how much, how meditative it is to just, but there, there's something about when you're interacting with someone and you have to be present in the moment, especially if you're sparring and the yes. person's trying to hit you, you, you're right there in that moment. You're not thinking about what you have at home or what you have and you just leave everything at the door and when you walk out, you pick it up, but you pick it up in a different, you, you bring a new version of yourself. You see, it, you see in a different light. You see things in a different light when you're feeling when you're feeling better from, from training. Yeah. yeah. I love that. A any other thoughts or I'd say those are three awesome Yeah, videos. Yeah, I mean, the, those are the big ones for me, guys, is just community, competition, and, and being present. Um, those things I feel are, are, especially the last one, like all three of these are important, but the being present is so important. Um, again, I know so many of our students work so hard and, and you know, they're, they're always busy, yet they still find time to come train. And I, it's not a coincidence, it's, it's because they're, they're feeling all those, those benefits, they're feeling those positive things, which allows them to, to just deal with life better. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, uh, well, awesome, man. Thank you.